Welcome back to our channel. China has granted its first production license for an electric vehicle capable of vertical takeoff and landing, marking a significant advancement in the nation's low-altitude economy. Industries focused on operations within 1,000 meters of sea level, especially aviation, are expected to be worth trillions of yuan by 2030. In this video, we will explore how this low-altitude economy creates a whole new business dimension in China as well as abroad. So don't go away and keep watching. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. China has granted its inaugural production license for an electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft, thereby strengthening its foothold in the global competition to expand commercial uses and secure a larger market share in this emerging tech-centric sector. The EH-216S, an autonomous EVTOL aircraft designed to carry passengers, was awarded a production certificate by the Civil Aviation Administration of China CAAC, on Sunday, April 7, 2024, as per a social media update from the aircraft's producer, Yi Han. The vehicle had previously received its type and standard airworthiness certificates, both prerequisites for commercial usage, from the CAAC last year. Hu Wazi, the founder and chairman of the Guangzhou-based firm, stated that the production certificate represents a significant milestone for the EH-216S as it transitions into the phase of mass production. It's also a crucial step for e Hang in progressing its commercial operations. The company has touted each certification as a world first for EVTOL aircraft. This license signifies a major advancement in China's multifaceted strategy to enhance its low-altitude economy, encompassing a broad spectrum of industries associated with manned and unmanned vehicles operating below an altitude of 1,000 meters. Recognized as a strategic emerging industry at the influential Central Economic Work Conference in December, this sector has attracted substantial investment and policy backing from Beijing, mirroring the success of its flourishing electric vehicle sector, which is making significant inroads in the global market. As China amplifies its role in civil aviation to challenge the long-standing duopoly of US-based Boeing and European multinational Airbus, a formidable challenge given the domestic industry's relative novelty and the myriad of trade restrictions that any tech-intensive field is likely to face. The newer and more accessible low-altitude domain, propelled by the widespread adoption of EVTOL aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles, offers a less challenging route for China to establish itself as a global leader. In 2023, the sector witnessed a year-on-year -year growth of 33.8%, amounting to 506 billion yuan, 70 billion dollars, and it is projected to exceed 1 trillion yuan by 2026, as per a report published earlier this month by a research institute affiliated with the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. Specifically, China's EVTOL industry scaled up to 980 million yuan in 2023, marking a year-on-year -year surge of 77.3%, and it is anticipated to attain a value of 9.5 billion yuan by 2026. Numerous cities nationwide have implemented supportive measures to tap into the potential of their local low-altitude economies, with over 20 provinces allocating space for the sector in work reports presented to their legislatures. A guideline for the general aviation industry, unveiled last month, indicated Beijing's intention to stimulate equipment supply and innovation by 2027 transforming aviation into a trillion yuan market and a key driver for low-altitude economic growth by 2030. China's support system for low-altitude flights has essentially taken shape, stated CAAC head Song Jiong on Tuesday, adding that this established a foundation for the expansion of the low-altitude economy. Song expressed that China could accomplish comprehensive coverage of supervision and service for low-altitude flights, with 449 general airports, a national information management system, seven regional information systems, and 32 flight service stations set up by the end of the previous year. However, he acknowledged that the support system still confronts challenges in terms of infrastructure layout planning, 
regulatory system construction, and the integrated operation of manned and unmanned aircraft. He assured that the CAAC would develop a responsibility system for low-altitude flights to safeguard national security and public safety, as well as improve the regulatory system and national supervision platform for flight activities within the threshold. The low-altitude economy signifies a fresh start for the EVTOL industry in China, presenting immense opportunities both within the country and on the global stage. Backed by the central and provincial governments, this burgeoning low-altitude economy is poised for rapid and imminent growth. It offers local residents a novel alternative for local transportation, and the reality of air taxis in China is fast approaching. That concludes the update. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.